Yeah, your Bible starts to Luke 24, starting at the 36th verse. Mm -hmm. And as they thus spoke, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. For they were terrified, terrified and affrighted. Suppose that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, said unto them, Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see. For well, spirit has not flesh and bones, as you have seen, see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they yet believed not with joy and wonder, he said unto them, Have you here any meat? And they gave him a piece of a broiled fish and of a honeycomb. And he took it and did eat before them. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. And open ye their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures. I'd like to use for a subject this morning, stand again. Dear Heavenly Father, we most give, mostly give you the praise. And that God, all the glory is yours. And we ask this morning, oh God, that you would anoint what we have to say, Lord. We ask, oh God, that it will be encouragement, Lord, to those who might, who might be encouraged, God. Lord, this is not only for the pew, but also it's for the poor people as well. God, I'm asking you this morning in Jesus' name, Lord, to have your way in this service and in every service, God. Let's, let us get out of the way and allow you to be God. Because so you are the cloud by day and the fire by night. And we ask that you would guide us and lead us into all truth. And we ask it in Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen. The resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ is one of the most important feats in history, other than the work of the cross. The Greek term for resurrection is anastasis. You spell it A N A S T A S I S. It means to stand again. Because of Jesus Christ and his standing up again from the dead. His resurrection has, has meant for each and every one of us that we can be restored. <laughs> Ourselves can be restored. Our lives can be restored. Because the God who gave us life for you and I gave it that we might have life now and more abundantly. Amen. Following the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, the religious hypocrites of Sanhedrin, they tried everything possible to, to discredit his rising again from the dead. Do you know there were five appearances on the day of his resurrection and the sixth one a week later to the eleven disciples. Why eleven? I thought it was twelve. Yeah, there was twelve, but one fell away because of greed and, and self-interest. Judas was present in body but absent in heart. And I pray this morning in this church there are not people who are present in body but absent in heart. I don't know you can sit in a, in a seat but still be backslid in heart, although your body is warming the seat. Judas denied himself in following Jesus. He's full of doubt and unbelief. He has no one to blame but himself when he stands before the great white throne judgment. And I was thinking about it. The book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 14 tells us, And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Do you know that Judas' name would not be one written on one of those foundations? He hung himself after he was overcome with grief. And I believe in my heart that if he would have asked God to forgive him, God would have forgave him. My Bible tells me that God takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Yeah. Although we might, God doesn't. Because how many know God loves each and every person, no matter who they are or how rotten they are? Yeah. That day when you stand before the Lord Jesus Christ, he will not, he will not at, that, at that moment, at the great white throne judgment, he will not be the Lamb of God, although he will always be the Lamb of God, but at the great white throne judgment, he will be the Lion of Judah. Oh, I can see Judas now, as he look, Judas now as he looked up into those eyes as a fire. Boris as the sound of many waters, and it comes to him what Jesus told him when he was a disciple. For whomsoever will save his life shall lose it, 
And whosoever will lose his life for my sake, he said, will find it. If you want to see heaven, you need to lose your life this morning. Amen. No, I'm not talking about going out and scrap, scrap, scrap a bomb for yourself. But what I'm saying, put down yourself, put down your will, and, and take up God's will. Amen. 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 You know, Satan is a master at using guilt and grief. Yeah. Did you hear me? He's a master at using guilt and grief. Most people won't come to the, to the Lord because of guilt. Yeah. Jesus already said, I didn't come to condemn you. You condemned already. Yeah. Amen. 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 And I don't know he can handle any grief. Yes, he, can. he died to remove your guilt. Yeah. He died that you may overcome. And somebody say, stand again. Yeah. Yeah. To overcome all grief. Oh. I believe the Lord is telling someone this morning, whether it's here or by YouTube, it's time for you to stand again. Amen. If he stood again, how many know you can stand again? Amen. You know, not only are we people of the cross, we're also people of the resurrection. He didn't stay in that grave. He's at the right hand of the Father interceding for you, isn't he? Amen. As Jesus died on the cross, how many know we're supposed to die with him in the mind of God? Amen. In the mind of God, when he died, you and I died with him. And when he got up from the grave in the mind of God, you and I got up with him. Amen. So why is your head hung down this morning? Why are you still, why are you still worshiping grief instead of worshiping God? There are approximately 10 occurrences of our Lord after the resurrection. I said 10. And I'm going to use a bad English. Why English? Because I want to. I'm tired of speaking proper sometimes. I want to use English. A-N-G-L-I-S-H. Where's that? That's in my dictionary. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> Ain't no Sanhedrin, no warlock, no Muslim, no Hindu, no backstand Christian going to make them believe that Jesus Christ did not stand again. Going to make them believe right. that Jesus Christ is not coming again. Right. Yeah. 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 He's coming again. I want to talk about someone this morning. David, the sweet saint of Israel. The warrior. Come on. The type of Christ. One of the most encouraging events in the word of God is King David on his knees but standing again. Turn to the book of 2 Samuel, please. 12. And we'll be starting at the 15th verse. Second Samuel 12, 15. Page 543, if you have my Bible. You're welcome. The Bible says in the 15th verse, and Nathan departed into his house. Nathan was a prophet who came to tell David of his sin, of sinning against Uriah, having been put at the end of the battle, that he might die and have his 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 uh his wife. And in that, in that union was a baby that was born in sin. And, and God took that baby, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I want to talk, and Nathan departed into his house, and the Lord struck the child that Uriah's wife bore to David. Look what he said, Uriah's wife. Yeah. And it was very sick. David therefore besought, or besought God, or prayed to God for the child. And David fasted and went in and laid all night upon the earth. And the elders of his house arose and went to him to raise him up again from the earth. But he would not. Neither did he eat bread with them. And it came to pass on the seventh day that the child died. And the servants of David feared to tell him that the child was dead. For they said, Behold, while the child was yet alive, we spoke to him. And he would not hearken or listen to our, unto our voice. How, how will he then vex himself if we tell him that the child is dead? But when David saw that his servants whispered, David perceived that the child and understood that the child was dead. Therefore David said unto his servants, Is the child dead? And they said, He is dead. Then David stayed on the earth. David rolled around on the earth. Huh? He stayed in his despair. No, David arose. David stood up. Come on, somebody. And he watched and anointed himself, and changed his clothes, and came into the house of the Lord, and he worshipped. Did you hear me? He didn't stay there. He got up and began to worship God. How many know the Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people? God inhabits our 
phases when we are still groveling in misery and things like that. We have to get up. And there's nothing wrong with grief. Come on, somebody. But we cannot allow it to be an idol in our lives. Because when we do that, we say we're not trusting God. Get up. Stand up again. Is that what he did? Come on, church. Number one, sickness and death did not originate it with God. But it originated with who? When man fell. That's where death came from. Yes. When man fell. Number two, David prayed for the healing of the child. He should have done that. Right. Yeah. But that did not change God's mind. Right. It didn't change the event. Number three, everything that God does allows is right. Amen. That's what most of us have a problem with. What God does is right. It might not seem right right then, but eventually you will see that it was right. Yes. Come on, church. Amen. We do know this, that David arose from his despair to continue to believe and trust God. Right. We do know this, that David and that little child will no longer experience despair or guilt. They're in heaven now. Amen. I said they're in heaven now. We all have lost loved ones. They're in heaven now. Yes. They're in heaven now. Yes. You don't have to grieve over someone 57 years later no. when they're in heaven. Amen. 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 This episode of David's dilemma has been told throughout the generation. What do you mean by that? That people have, have received strength from the same story when they've lost a loved one. We all have lost loved ones. Yes. But if they knew the Lord, they're in heaven. Yes. And I'm, we're going to see them again. Yes. And guess what? They don't want to come back here. Yes. Yes. They don't want to feel what I feel this morning, stress in my back. Yes. Why? Because of going through life problems and dealing with, 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 with life. Yes. Stress. Yes. A tightness. Yes. Never to experience that again. Come on. Amen. Amen. Right. The next, you know what? Uh, the next time one of your non-believing co-workers that you always cry about, your spiritually bound family members, your backslidden friends tell you that you're using God for a crutch, tell them yes, that's just what I'm doing. Amen. 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 That's just what I'm doing. Believing for this everlasting promise that never gives up. Yeah. I'm praying to that old record cross. Yeah. And I'm still standing on this promise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta have a word for the devil when he comes. I said, you gotta have a word for him. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Just don't sit there and take it. Amen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And sometimes it doesn't, I mean, come on, you can think of some healing, right. some scripture. Right. You don't have to argue with them. Standing on the promises of God. Amen. Somebody in this church or by YouTube this morning need to stand again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's time to get up out of the church. It's time to rise up and believe God. Yeah. Thank God. He said, peace be unto you. That's what Jesus said when he stood in the midst of the disciples. He didn't come through the attic. He didn't come through no door. And he, he didn't come through a window. He just showed up right in the midst of them. Oh, and said, peace be unto you. Yeah. Yes. Who is peace? Jesus Christ. Yes. And they sit there and begin to shake. Because they thought it was a spirit. Right. A spirit don't have flesh and bone. No. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. And right there, he took, he asked for some, some fish. Yeah. Not no fried catfish. Right. Oh. Or some raw fish. Come on, somebody. Oh. Right. I think my God is a healthy person. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. I bet it takes the better than catfish. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And he asked for that. There they are. They are, they are, they are trembling. And, and, and the peace be in there, you know what it means? It means all is well. Right. Yeah. Right. Or how sometimes we forget the matter. The master has come to live within us and regardless of the toils of life and, and we are a child of God. I don't care what you're going through this morning. I don't care what I'm going through this morning. Somebody say all is well. All, all is well. All is well is not a feeling. All is well is believing as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he said all is well. Yeah. The speech being used by Jesus means quietness, prosperity, to set it one again. Yeah. All believers have peace with God. Right. Why? Because the enmity between you and God is no longer. Right. 
Do you know at one time when you was a backslider, when you wanted to do your own thing, when you was a healer, come on somebody, there was enmity between you and God. There was anger. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was anger. Resentment. You know how you were when people tried to talk to you about Jesus? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm all right. Come on. Yeah. I don't want to know where there are a bunch of hypocrites. Oh. Man, we we looking for all hypocrites. Oh, yeah. All the hypocrites are welcome to this. And you still sometimes be hypocritical. Oh, also, right? Glory to God. But thank God for the blood of Jesus. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Come on. Yeah. There was hatred between us and God, ill will, bitterness, bad blood. And I was thinking about it. Now, so if God and I had all that going on, and I'm walking around like nothing is wrong, either I'm 5150, that means crazy. <laughs> I'm cruising for a bruising, like my mom used to say, uh -huh. or I'm desperate. Come on, somebody. Because how many know we all were, at one time were desperate? Uh -huh. We were all cruising for a bruising. Amen. Uh -huh. but thank God we heard the tired of God. Uh -huh. Thank God we heard the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. so uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm so bad. It wasn't because of my works or my deeds, Brother Tom. I'd have never made it. It was because of the precious blood of Jesus uh -huh. and the victory power of the Holy Spirit. I make myself clean before I came in. No, I just fell on his everlasting arm. Yeah. It says, forgive me, Jesus. Forgive me. And he took me and washed me in his precious blood. Not water, precious blood. Water is only symbolic. The blood is real. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Water only, you know, the saints will still be there. Mom, how much time did you? But, but a plow the blue. Though your sins are red as God, they shall be white as snow. Come on, somebody. Yeah, Sister Jenny, she didn't like hearing about the blood when she first came. I'm so glad that Brother Don, who's a priest for all time, listened to the message. Amen. Now we talk about the blood. But, but they be crying and weeping and stuff. Amen. Praise the Lord. But they know what the blood is. You know what the blood is. Come on, Hallelujah. For anyone, thank God for those that are peace with God. But did you know this morning there are, there are people who do not have a peace of God? Yes. A lot of times, yes, we have peace with God because there's no longer sin between us. But how many of all of us are missing the peace of God? Because we've allowed anxiety and fear and worry to rob us of our peace. Right. I'm talking to a brother today, crying and stuff on the phone to him. Oh, when I go through. Probably sound like a big old baby. This needs to be around sometimes in this episode about being crying. <laughs> I say, Lord, forgive me. But God knows that I'm human. I know you guys are super saints. Super saints. I know sometimes, sometimes those, 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 the, 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 the religious living come into our lives and begin to squeeze us. And we'll realize anxiety and fear and worry to rob us of our peace. And in those times, we have to realize in the midst of men's opinions of spiritual deception, personal fears. I mean, have had personal fears. Yes. Economic challenges. Hurtful losses. And the Antichrist spirit of the age, God has guaranteed, listen, his protection. He's promised to lead us as a fire by night and a cloud by day. And he's given us power over all the power of the enemy. And he said he was supply our every want. No, need. Did he say that? Yes. Because I'm not interested in being applauded or lauded. I'm just telling you this this morning that sometimes I forget. That no Christian is guaranteed freedom from persecution, opposition, or reproach. That's right. Oh, you didn't hear me. Amen. Yeah. No Christian. We're all going to go through something. It's how, how we handle it. Mm -hmm. I have a God who cannot, will not, has never lied, guaranteed that if we trust Him, church, we shall have the peace of God in the midst of a spiritual 
an emotional, physical, or financial storm of life. Right. The storm is coming. Yes. Uh, I heard a brother say this morning, and it blessed me. He said, sometimes God blesses us two or three times. I mean, blessing after blessing after blessing. Right. Yeah? And I'll be like, hey, man, whoa, man, I'm just, I'm just sailing through. Yeah. Know why? Because he knows five or six storms are wrapped just ahead. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. That makes sense, son. Yeah. You get your two blessings and hey, and then all of a sudden, because God knows that four storms come. Right. Yeah. Thank you. That's right. Storms are coming. But it's how we handle those storms, church. Yeah. Oh. Do you have scripture for that? Yes, I'm glad you asked. Turn to the book of Mark. Chapter 4. Oh yeah, we have a Bible study today. Oh, amen. Yeah, right. Mark 4, 36. <laughs> we talk about a God that will stand up for you. Yeah. Are you there? Yes. Let's start at 35. Mark 4, 35. And the same day when the evening was come, he said unto them, Jesus, the twelve, let us pass over and to the other side. How many know now? Look at it. When Jesus tells you to let's go to the other side, that means that you're going to the other side. Amen. I don't care what show up. He said we're going to the other side. Well, that's a yeah. preach right there. Amen? Amen. But guess what? In the midst of going to the other side, sometimes storms come up in our lives. Yeah. God said I'll get you through. Uh, yeah. He didn't say what well, no storm ever come while you're going through. Amen? Right. Look at this. Let us pass over to the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. They, they were also with him of the little ship. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was, he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on the pillow. While we worry and fret, man, God is asleep. Huh? While you're all that walking around wondering about what's going to happen, God is asleep. Amen. Amen. God ain't worried, Amen. but we worry. Amen. You need to go to sleep. Amen. Amen. I say you need to go to sleep. Amen. Lord, I'm giving it to you, and I'm going to sleep. Mom. Amen. 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 But we walk around fretting things, and he's, he's snoring. <laughs> I bet it's not gonna bother you either, like I bother my wife. This snoring is beautiful. I mean, when Jesus, I mean, when Jesus was snoring, it's like music. Come on, somebody. Come on. Amen. 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 So he was asleep, right? We see where he was asleep, amen? And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a, on a pillar, and they awoke him and said to him, Master, carry us not that we perish. He only told him they were going to the other side. And he, and he just laid there. Yeah. Yeah. No, he didn't. He, he arose. He yeah. I say he stood up. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And he rebuked the wind. So guess what? Whatever you're going through, if you call upon him, he will stand up. Come on, somebody. Amen. And he will, he will rebuke that man. He will rebuke that storm. Amen. And you just trust him. Amen. What are you going through this morning? Spirit, emotion, physical, financial? Say, Lord, please stand up. Stand up, oh God. For me, please. And rebuke this thing. Amen. I still believe that the Jesus appeared and stood in the midst of the disciples without opening a door or window and sent peace to them. We know they were what? They were afraid. They believed, they believed though, that had that, that told them about Jesus, but they believed that he only came back as a spirit. They in multitude, many false religions today don't believe Jesus Christ has risen from the dead and has a literal flesh and, and, and body of bones. Yesterday I asked a young lady to come to her. To come to church, and uh, she said, "I would like to come to your church, but I heard that you talk about other churches." I said, "Yes, I sure do. Mm -hmm. I, I sure do. I talk about false religion. Yeah. We're doing it until Jesus comes." Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. I say so. I told. I say someone knocked on my door the other day, and, and and they were false religion. I say if I don't tell the people about false religion, and someone knocks on their door, and they excel on those pamphlets, how many know they can be lost? Yes. Yeah. And she said, you know what, I think I'm going to come one day. That's on her. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to talk, I'm going to call out false religion. Yeah. Most pastors don't. You hear me? Right. Amen. 
you know, Mary can't save you. The, the Pope can't save you. I can't save you. Joseph Smith can't save you. Harry Christian can't save you. Allah is not God. Amen. So if you have a problem with that, oh well. Yeah. Yeah, right. There's a pastor in this town, large church, I'm not going to call it. He was told to confront homosexuality. He said, I'm not going to touch it. He has a full church today, but guess what? They only went ahead. How many know there's a remnant yes. that would not bow the knee to Baal? Yes. Yes. I want to be a part of that remnant. Yes. 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 Praise the Lord. Come on. Come on. Yes. You talk about other churches. No, maybe be honest, they're not other churches. They're Muslims. Yeah. They're dead. No life in them. Yeah. This is the morning how we praise God. You were scared half of the people to death in there. Yeah. You really were. Yeah. And this young lady was in Christianity one time and went back into a false religion. Now she says she's out. How can you ever leave God? Yeah. Know why? Because we love to be temple. We love that which is smooth. It sounds good that we might stay in our sin. Yeah. But guess what? There's, there's an end coming. Yeah. And you will bring the you will not be the pipe, but you have to pray God. Yeah. Yeah. This is why Apostle Paul told the Roman church to be saved or born again, that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, not join a church. Yeah. Not be baptized or take communion, that if you should confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in your heart that God has raised from the dead, you might be saved. No, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made into salvation. And that confession doesn't have to be made to that's not made to a man or priest or pastor or pope. It's made to Jesus Christ. Because the pastor, the priest, and the pope did not die on the cross for you. Jesus did. Amen. Believing has nothing to do with our feelings. Amen. This is a walk of faith, not a walk of feelings. Preach to yourself, Pastor. Preach it. My feelings sometimes get so hurt. And yours too. I believe Christ, I only believe Christ if Christ only does this. Uh, no, I believe Christ if he, he does or doesn't. Let me tell you something. No, I'm going to believe Christ whether he answers that prayer or not. Right. Amen. 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 Just because something didn't turn out right as I hope, that doesn't mean that God is not real. That doesn't mean that God is not still on the throne. Come on, so church. Amen. God is still on the throne whether we, whether we experience what we want or not. Right. Amen. I know this. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father interceding for each and every one of us. He's doing it right now. Amen. Amen. The disciples not understanding the Lord Jesus has risen from the dead. How many know it's beyond their understanding and their faith? And a lot of times God allows things in our life that is beyond our understanding and our faith. Right. And we don't, we don't understand it. However, we still have to trust God. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I say we still have to trust God. Right. How they don't, don't do anything. It's not going to remove anything. We have to trust God. Okay. Say, God, I'm going to have to trust you. I don't understand it. I don't know why I'm going through this. But I'm going to, I'm going to trust you and I'm going to give it to you. When the prince of this life, this world, and even this ministry begin to squeeze, the Lord brings me to this scripture. Listen, there has no temptation, no testing, taking you for such as common to a man. Don't think you're the only one going through something. I know we, we, we do that. I, I'm the only one to know you now. When you wake up, every, everybody everybody's going through something. They might not tell you about it, but they're going through something. But God is faithful. What? Amen. Who will serve you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation of testing also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. God is saying, I will not put anything on you more than you can bear. Amen. How many of sometimes it feels like it? But he's saying it. Amen? Amen. And the key words here is God is faithful. He's not going to put anything more on you than you can bear. So what I'm saying this morning, whatever you're going through or had to go through, God allowed you to have that because he knew you could bear it. Amen. 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 God knew 
about to be a good faith like Church of Aaronburg.
and the Father as he died alone for your sin and mine. And then sometimes I don't trust he who did all of that. Sometimes I doubt him. Sometimes I get upset with him. When things don't happen like I want it to happen. But how do you know he knows this? He wanted us this morning to stop. He wanted you this morning, this morning whoever, whoever we're talking to, to stop wallowing in your grief and stand up. He stood up that you might stand again. Yeah. Yeah. Men bent over by sin or grief can stand again, that we will be troubled no longer. If you're a child of the Most High and only God, well, there's no other God. I don't even like the way they title that song, My God is the Awesome God. No, my God is the Awesome God because there is no other God. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't sit well with God when we're troubled. Think about that. When you are troubled, it doesn't sit well. Well, Pastor, I'm troubled, I'm troubled about my child. Give it to God. I'm troubled about my job. Give it to God. Aren't you, aren't you gods? Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Let, let me say it again. Are you gods? Gods? Yeah. You belong to him? Yeah. yeah. So what are you troubled about? Amen. He fed Elijah with ravens, with birds. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. 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 Yeah. Just give it to the Lord. That shows a lack of faith when we allow trouble to come into our lives and just and take over. He asked the disciples that day, why are you troubled? How I many of we're all guilty at one time or another of being allowing trouble to rob us of our peace? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. I know. Because yeah. I'm the chief trouble of them all. Huh? Paul said he was the chief sinner. I'm the, I'm the chief trouble. Yeah. I can't wait till God just give me a complete victory over trouble. Yeah. I want to be the type of person that stick right in the house and stuff just falling all around me. Praise God. And I don't even get faith. I'm not trouble. I'm just Amen. trusting God. Amen? Amen. 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 What we put, then we go down to, to we went down to famous David and, and, and there's an earthquake. The earthquake was going on. Remember that Mr. Green? Went after Sunday and 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 and, and uh, Miss Green and, and I think my wife, they went on in the restaurant. I ran out of that restaurant for a minute. <laughs> Hey, women shaking and rattling. Come on. <laughs> but I said, you guys did it right. The pastor ran out. Let the wife come to right here. Forget I was trouble. But how do you know I should have stayed right with, in there with them? Amen. Because the die is gained. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. I just an example. Come on. <laughs> Where are we at or what are we going through? We should not be trouble. Amen. 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 Peace. Be, trust in God. Be right. in those everlasting arms. Um, never be troubled. Not saying that we're not, not going to go through things, right. but when those things come into our lives, those storms, from this day forward, we just want to give it to God. Because yes. if He can stand, if He stood again, yes. I can stand again. Right. Right. Come on. Right. I'm tired of wallowing in this mire and muck. I'm getting full. Father yes. Son, you stood again. Right. Right. Father Son stood again. Yes. And have enough sense to run back to the Father. Oh, come on, somebody. Right. Somebody need to stand again. Right. Somebody need to get out of the mercy box and run back to the Father. Let me land the plane. Wash your hands in the problem. Such attitude and activity must stop today because it is a lack of trust which robs us of the peace of God. There was no reason for the disciples to be troubled because Jesus had told them that he would stand again and rise again. You know who brings thoughts of doubt and despair and discouragement to our hearts? No, not your mother in law. <laughs> Satan. I say Satan. He talks to our mind and we listen to him. There have been times that I have thought things and, 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 and it had nothing to do with that person. Have you been there? Oh, yeah. 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 You know what that person was? You know, no, no. Yeah. It's the enemy, enemy whispering to you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so when those thoughts come, you rebuke him in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. He brings those thoughts of fear, doubt, and discouragement and despair to our hearts. Yeah. And we listen to him because of a lack of not knowing God's word. Yes. How many of you don't study God's word like you should? When things come, you're not going to know what to stand on. Right. Right. Yeah. When, 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 when enemy brings those things uh -huh. and, and, and the Holy Spirit, like a computer, brings up that word, how do you know right. you can stand against that? Yes. Right. When the enemy comes in like a flood, uh -huh. God, you said you raise a standard against him. Yes. Yeah. That's the word that you and I know. Uh -huh. 
So when those things come in, how many know we quote that scripture and we believe it? Amen? Amen. Because if we don't, results little trust, little peace. This morning, I don't know what situation you might be going through. You might not be going through anything. But whatever it is, whether it's a family situation, whether it's a job situation, whether it's a financial situation, whether it's a, a, spirit, a spiritual or physical this morning, we're going to tell Trump this morning, I'm standing again. Yeah. I'm tired of being beaten down by it. Amen? Amen. I'm going to stand up because God stood up. Amen? Amen. I'm going to stand again and not allow anything anymore to hold me down. Amen. I'm going to get up like they, like you roll from the ground. And I'm going to worship God. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to give him all the praise. And all the praise. Because he lives. Amen. Because he lives. Yeah. We're going to face the Lord. Glory to God. So it's time to stand again. Whatever that little trouble you have right now, God knows about it. Yeah. Matter of fact, He allowed it. Maybe to bring you close to Him. Yeah. Maybe let you know you can't trust people. You can only trust Him. Come on, amen. 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 We love people, but guess what? We, we trust God. Amen. Because man and God can only go so far with you, but He'll go all the way. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, our fear is gone. Because I know. Right now, about something. I 
to you by you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Praise the Lord. Sister, I don't know what to do. Who can do Yes. No, I'm saying who can do it? Oh, good.
tell that problem this morning. Pray to sing the song. I've been faced to my